Today I'll be going over the DTRs, deep tendon reflexes. There are four tests I'm going to be doing today on my patient. One for the bicep, one for the tricep, one for the patellar tendon, and one for the Achilles tendon. You would need a reflex hammer for this test, but um, since I do not have one, I'm going to be using the edge of a stethoscope. You want the arm for the biceps tendon, um, deep tendon reflex test, the patient to be um, sitting up nice and tall with their arm flat, with their elbow flexed and supported either by holding it or if they can rest it on their um, lap. There's gonna be four grades, um, a zero, which would mean that there is no response. A one plus, which means that there is a light reflex. A plus two, which is normal. A three, which means that there's going to be a reflex for two, but it's normal. A plus three means that it's going to be a little bit exaggerated. And a um, four plus means that it's going to be an extreme reflex. So let's see. The elbow is supported to test for the biceps. We're going to palpate the muscle belly of the biceps brachii. And in the antecubital fossa, you're going to feel that um, tendon. So normally I would have two fingers over the antecubital fossa, over that tendon, and I would apply the reflex hammer on top of my two fingers to see the reaction. We can try it, but it might not work as well. Okay, and without my fingers, okay. So that would be a zero because there was no um, known reflex. Now I'm going to have my partner um, turn his hand um, into supination while I support the um, bicep, or while I support the um, upper arm. And I'm going to be applying my um, reflex test just above the olecranon process. You can feel the tendon of the tricep right there. The groove is where you're going to aim. So you want it to be about shoulder height. Okay, and there was no response for that, so that would also be a grade zero. Um, the next test is going to be the patellar test, and this is going to be on the patellar tendon, so you'll palpate for that patella bone, and just underneath it, from the patella to the tib uh, tibial tuberosity is where the patellar tendon lies, and you wanna target right there um, in the tendon area. The feet are gonna be, um, I'm sorry, the legs are gonna be unsupported, so they're gonna be hanging and swinging in a open path position. Um, and then we will use this side of the stethoscope to test for any reflexes. And there were no reflexes, so that would be a grade zero. Now the next one, we could have our partner in a prone position for the Achilles um, tendon test. I'm going to come down to my patient's level here and put their foot in a little bit of dorsiflexion. The Achilles tendon goes from the gastroc and the soleus to meet at the calcaneus. This um, have it right here. Okay, and you can feel that tendon. You're going to apply the side of the stethoscope to the tendon, and you're just going to see if there's any reflex. Usually, it might go up, um, or they might. It's like pressing a gas pedal. They might. You might see the toes go down. 
So let's see. Okay, and that was, I would say, a two, a normal reflex. Let's see if we can do it again. And there you go. And that is DTR, deep tendon reflex.